guys, welcome back to another video. And you can obviously tell it's nighttime because it's dark here. Um, you can obviously tell my lighting, but you can tell that it's dark because I have the lighting and that's where I was going. And I'm going to be sillier than usual. It's like 10.30 at night. But I do want it noted for the record, I am doing this on Sunday night. Sunday night, the challenge is due Thursday night. For us, you see it on Friday, I'm doing it Sunday. I'm so proud of myself. So, um, I have a lot this week. A lot, a lot, a lot. You've heard about the blogiversary, which is going to be coming up on the 3rd, which is Sunday. So make sure you go to Joe's Scrap Shack for that. It's jwshack.blogspot.com, I believe. Let me just... I have it saved, so I'm a horrible friend. Yes, jwscrapshack.blogspot.com. So you're going to want to go there on Sunday because there's going to be a blog hop. And you're going to go around and you're going to get a chance to win this awesome prize package. Very cool. So, I have that. I have my brother and my stepfather's birthday this week. Um, so, yeah, it's a lot. I have one, two, three, four, five projects to do this week. I usually do one at the last minute, I'm going to be honest with you. Anyhow, we will uh, get along with our little project here. So in an effort to kind of cut down the time a little bit, I um, went ahead and I stamped our image. Originally what I was going to do, these are silhouette cuts, the cuts, except for this, this square here, I cut that myself. Um, so this is what I'm using, it's for Mother's Day. And I didn't want to go with a traditional Mother's Day. I didn't want to say Happy Mother's Day because, duh, it's Mother's Day. So I figured I'd do something a little different. Outside the box. So I'm outside the box, everybody. Um, with a thankful heart because I'm very thankful for my mother. My mother does a lot for me. So I figured that was something cool, something different. Every other year I've said Happy Mother's Day. A little different. My brother's going to say Happy Mother's Day. Not me. I'm going to say with a thankful heart. So, um, I got that from my pink stamper, Itty Bitty Licious. So, very cool stamp set. Lots of good sayings, and they're little, so you can fit them on for projects like this. I originally was going to have the silhouette write it. And this is what I was originally going to do. And then I was like, oh, I can't do that. It doesn't look right. This was a, with a .005 marker. So that shows you how thin it was, but the silhouette did an amazing job considering the font style and how small it was. Silhouette kicked butt. So when I've got my stamp sets out, I'm like, ooh, with a thankful heart, that's different. I'll go with that. So we went with that. So we have that. And then the paper that I'm using today is paper from long ago. It is from Recollections. It is probably not available, I'm gonna tell you, because it's probably, yeah, forever ago that I got it. I didn't even see a name. It just says printed scrapbook papers. So um, it's 12 by 12. I got it when I used to go to my dad's um, up there, but that doesn't say anything important. So yeah, so this is the set of papers that you get. So, let me back in. So we're using that paper, we're using that. Um, I think we're gonna use some twine. We used an image um, from <laughs> Little Blue Button Stamps. I think I said it right. <laughs> If not, it's on my blog. I keep wanting to say a little boy blue stamps. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know what my issue is. I don't know why I have that blocked. I just, it's funny how, I mean, that's always, you know, you hear about little boy blue. So that's, that's kind of like what I have in my mind. But unfortunately, this company did not go with what's in my mind. So little blue button stamps is what they went with. That's what we'll go with. Okay. I told you I'm chatty and silly at night. Um, so we got some twine, because I think we're going to use that instead of seam binding or ribbon. And we got all these little pieces. I cut out um, this backer, because it I didn't like it when I put the card right on here. It just needed something, so I figured just the green to pop off there. But now my problem is I used the, with the thankful heart with that too, so I don't know how that's going to work. So we'll see. I could always figure something out. So we're gonna go ahead, I colored her in with my Spectrum Noir markers and I'll have a list of the colors that I used. Um, I'm not good enough where it would take me forever on a video, that's why I don't show it. Um, I just go ahead and do what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I kinda, like I just had um, my music on, I was just grooving 
And actually, I think we're gonna use the tape runner this time for the moment. So um, yeah, so I don't know how long it took me. I don't know, I do know what markers I used. I wrote that down. So, cause that's good to know. So I wrote all that down. But as far as, I don't know how long it took me, but I know it takes me a while. And I don't like to fast forward my videos. Um, a, I don't know how to do it. Um, but it's something I could learn if I so chose, I guess. Um, so yeah, so I just decide to not color. And maybe as I get more comfortable with my coloring, it's something I would do. I don't think she turned out too bad. I mean, the light's kind of a little wonky because, you know, it's nighttime, but you know, it, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. So, okay. So we're going to adhere this. Uh, we don't need the base at the moment. So I think we're going to adhere this right about here. And this is a six by six card. I thought we'd do something a little different today. And honestly, I wanted to get my image bigger so I could color in all the little bits and baubles. So I think we'll go there. And I think we are going to do twine and we'll do it on the back of this paper. So let's go ahead and get this stuck down. Yeah, that's the only problem with me doing stuff with stacks that I've had forever is if you like it, you can't go get it. And I feel really bad about that because I know like if I see a video and I like something, I want to go get it immediately. That's the bad part about doing the design team is I go and look at what everybody's done and all the projects they've done and I'm like oh look at that that's really cool I like that I want that stamp set and yeah I can't do that because <laughs> you guys use a lot of awesome stamp sets so I just have to watch watch what I'm up to all right that was a little crooked for my taste and now it still looks crooked I think it's the paper quite honestly I don't know I think that's better okay so for time's sake there we go. All right, so I got it adhered down. So there, do I like that? Yes, I do. And the good news is, is part of it's gonna be covered anyways. Okay, so what we're going to do is take our twine here and our little kitty of tape. That is so generous to sit there and hold the tape for me. So I think we're going to go around the back and Let's see, there's about the middle, I think. Okay. So there's that piece. And let's see. It's easier to do it this way, I think. Okay. Whoops. Get it across. Well, if my hand would stop shaking, we'd be doing much better. Okay. I think that's good. The thing is, I can still pull it once it's once it's there. So I'm not going to do like the other day. I went ahead and uh, went working with the ribbon, or I'm sorry, the seam binding. I went ahead and glued it to the card face. Not going to do that today because I want to make sure that I can adjust it if I need to. Okay, so I'm thinking our girl, because I messed up the twine here a little, I think our girl is gonna go on the opposite side. Hopefully that's okay. Let me just see if that works for me. Because that's not usually what I do. That's gonna be very bizarre. Okay, so we're gonna change that. Let me get my twine adjusted and I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished uh, messing around with that. And I got, I went ahead, um, I went around twice with the twine, tied a little bow on the side. And then um, I tied my bow, obviously. Got a little bow over here. I'm just gonna pull on it, put these, Try to get these to stay on that side and I'll trim those in a minute. So I went ahead and I stuck it down onto my card front. So now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take the foam squares and we're gonna use these normal sized square ones, not the skinny ones. So we're gonna go ahead 
and get lots of pop dots on this sucker because it is so big. You don't want it falling in. That is the one thing I do love about the digital images is the fact that you can really make it any size you want it to be. So that's really pretty cool. So if you have a stamp and you're like, oh, I could use it for this project, but it's too small. Not with a digi stamp. You can do anything. So somebody actually asked me how I do my digi stamps. Um, I'll show you guys at the end of the video. Hopefully I remember. I take them into Silhouette Studio and then I cut them from there. So they come out cut in shapes. So I just have to color them in. And usually I plan the whole card um, in Silhouette Studio. So I'll know what I need to trim myself and what I'm going to um, cut in Silhouette Studio. So I'm prepared and then it comes out and I just have to color it. So there we go. So there she is. And I think, I think what we're gonna do I don't know if I like that green paper anymore. I was thinking of putting it right down in here, um, but that would require stamping on the project and I really don't wanna do that. So I think what I'm going to do is, I think the way we're gonna solve this problem is we're gonna leave this on the front and maybe I'll put some um, sequins or some dots on the ear. So, but I think what we're going to do, as a matter of fact, right here, take out the trimmer, and good, it fits on there. So we're gonna go ahead, and I know you can't see my whole trimmer, but I can see what I need to see, so that's good news. Um, oh, I don't know why it went all wonky there for a minute. So we're gonna go to five and seven eighths, five and seven eighths, or five and 14 sixteenths, if you are using a trimmer with a sixteenths. And I was gonna get rid of that, but we're not gonna get rid of that anymore. We're going to, I think, that's not really big enough totally. So we'll take this piece, hopefully is. So I think we've got this for the inside. I cut out two scallops. So this is at five and seven eighths. So we will go ahead and, let me just check it against this piece here. Dun, dun, dun. I can get the paper, we'll be doing well. Nope, not long enough. Not long enough, not that way, and not that way, okay. So I just wanna have, I don't want that poking out, but just a little bit above there. So probably about an inch, I think we'll take, maybe an inch and a quarter. We can always trim off, that's the one thing. I always remember the old adage, sorry, hit the video camera, no. The old adage of um, measure twice, cut once. I like that. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that. So we'll go ahead and um, this paper, I would not recommend using the glue. It's kind of thin. So that's why I, because I know I discussed with you in our last one, our last video that really actually more expensive to use this adhesive than it is to let's see here I'm going crooked I don't know why my vision's off this evening I'm seeing crooked instead of seeing double I don't know if that's good so just a little pop of color and we're going to put that in here but first we're going to put this down so we'll go ahead and take out the big guns for the inside I always try to make my videos shorter and it seems like I just make them longer. Seems like if I get rid of one thing, something else pops up. Like move the kitty now, we don't need tape. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. And this is something different for me. I've never, piece of cat hair, my mom's used to that. Cat hair all over the place here. All right. As I am the crazy cat lady, you could imagine I would have cat hair here. And I didn't like the way that stuck, but I think I'm stuck with it. Yes, yes, I am stuck with it. Okay, so I can still fold the card. All right, we can go with that. Everything is not working out as planned this evening. Okay, so get this put down. We're gonna 
go ahead and get this put down as well. This tape, usually I can fiddle with it tonight. I'm not. It's almost like when craft rooms attack. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> A little bit. All right, so I'm going to just take this and I'm gonna put this in here and then I still have plenty of room so that I can write a note um, or put a gift card. Actually, what my mom's getting for uh, Mother's Day, Mother's Day. No, what my mom's getting for Mother's Day will not fit in her card. So I don't have to worry about trying to fit a gift card in here. So that's good news. And I'm gonna put it up here just so that my thing is off tonight. I don't know. Must be after like nine or 10, my perception goes or something. So we'll get that right in there. And there's our card. So it looks kind of plain on the outside. It's not my most fanciest card that I've ever made. And then on the inside, it has our message. Instead of Happy Mother's Day, it has with a thankful heart because my heart is very thankful. So I wanna, th oh, and I was gonna show you. I was just about to go into my wind up spiel and I may be getting some new music. Um, not like singing. Um, I talked to my son, one of his uh, friends is in the, to be like a music producer basically, program in a college uh, near us. And I said, could you talk to him just see if he could come up with something and they do a lot of rap, so I was kind of like, okay, just make sure it's not like, crazy cat lady, yo, you know, something like that. I don't want something like that. And he's like, no, no, no. He's like, I, yeah, yeah. And he came and he checked out my videos. And so my son's going on and on about how cool his friend thought it was. And I'm like, you, you're putting me on, you know, come on, don't put it on this thick. He's like, no, I'm serious. And I was like, oh my God, that's so cool. So Nick, if you're watching, hi, Nick. <laughs> so you get a shout out. <laughs> So hopefully I'm going to have some crazy cat lady music. I don't know what a crazy cat lady sounds like, but I guess that's Nick's job to figure it out. Um, so what I do is I take them into Silhouette Studio. You can see they're still sticky from coming off my mat. And I can just show you these ones. And I usually cut two or three or six. So these I'm working on. You'll see these later this week. I cut six of these. And then, of course, in Silhouette Studio, I'll cut the backer for these two. And I have a whole cool card coming up on these because... It's a birthday frog, so happy birthday. I love my puns, you know. So um, I just cut them all. I do a print and cut, I drag them in, I trace them, I trace and detach, which means it takes its white PNG or JPEG background away. So you just get this image because you think, okay, you're putting on white paper. If you print it, it doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Um, the white is a different color white than the paper. So it shows. I accidentally did that with one of my images and it actually showed. I couldn't believe it because I thought, oh, not a big deal. Yes, it was a big deal. I had to reprint it. Um, and then I printed this one also in case I had some oops because I had some oops earlier coloring her in. So um, I wanted to have this as a backup. So I just wanted to show you that's how. And I have some other ones, but they're going to be surprises coming up for this week so I don't want to share all of them um so thank you so much for stopping by I appreciate you guys stopping by go over onto my blog and check out for supplies any upcoming contests giveaways things like that at www.crazycatladycraft.blogspot.com and as always happy crafting <laughs>